वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गिविंग इन एक डिटेल्स ऑफ ए स्मॉल कैप फंड दैट इज गुड फॉर बहुत एस आई पी एंड सम इन्वेस्टमेंट फॉर लॉन्ग टर्म सो आई बी कंसिडरिंग द एनालिस ऑफ यू टी ए स्मॉल कैप फंड सो द यू टी ए स्मॉल कैप फंड एन एफ ओ ग्रोथ एक्टली केम विद एन एफ ओ इन डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी and now it is trading at 14 uh, now the now is at 14.76 on as on 31 march 2023 so it has given already given around uh, 40 uh, 44 7.66 percent return that is around uh, over 18 percent annualized return since inception in december 2020 so that is considered a very good return over a period of 2 years just over 2 years so so it actually uh, if you see the fund is actually having a fund size of 2390.64 crores so normally i think we have seen that ut mid cap fund came in nf for much earlier so ut small cap fund came in nf only in 2020 so this fund looks uh, has having given very good returns uh, right from the inception it looks a very promising fund for long term uh, wealth creation so if you see the nav performance of this fund it was actually from december 2020 it was actually trading at 10 rupees then actually over a period of quick period of around 3 uh, 4 months it actually start uh, nav test 10.5 in february 2021 then actually started nav test around uh, 11 levels in march 2021 and it actually had a, nav had a sharp rise to around uh, 12.27 in may 2021 and uh, nav was around uh, crossed 13 levels in july and it actually touched 13.57 in july 2021 and it has a high of around uh, 15.2 It crossed 15 levels in October 2021. So just in the period of one year, this fund actually gave over 50 percent returns, and uh, then actually stabilized for a period uh, from November to around uh, December. And actually, it made a hot time high. NAV was at uh, around uh, 15.85 in January 2022. And actually, based on uh, the Ukraine war started in around February March, uh, there was a correction in the market, and this fund also fell. NAV fell to around 14.23. then actually started rising again uh, once the uh, market started recovering in the april uh, nav was around 15.88 in april then actually started correcting again when the market uh, fell to around uh, in june 2022 and the nav fell to around 13.57 then actually uh, once the market recovered again uh, it actually touched around 15.97 again in september 2022 and uh, now is actually based on the recent market correction uh, after stabilizing for a period from uh, december to around uh, december 2022 to around uh, january it actually now is uh, after correcting is actually now trading at uh, nav around 14.47 still the returns are actually healthy at the annualized return is around 80 percentage it says fund size around 2390.64 crores so it is likely to improve once uh, it uh, once exactly yeah, once yeah, in future also so the fund size can actually increase to over 5000 crores it is expected to rise over 5000 crores in the future and uh, regarding the returns uh, you can see that if you are invested 10000 rupees uh, for a period of uh, one one year uh, the fund value is slightly negative the last one year the return have been slightly uh, negative uh, the, since the market has corrected so the 10000 rupees uh, value is now worth 907 of 9705 now and two year uh, fund value for 10000 rupees is 13300 there is a return of 33 percentage and uh, since inception the total return is uh, for 10000 rupees uh, investment is worth around 14764 there is a return of an uh, absolute return of 47 percentage annually the return of 18.72 percentage that, that is considered a very in, a good investment as far as uh, mutual fund investment is concerned so if you see the performance of most of the funds if we are invested over a period of, period of uh, 10 15 years we can actually see that the nav of uh, around 10 of maria uh, set emerging blue chip it came in a point 2015 as a rise from around uh, 10 levels to around uh, 97 in around 7 uh, years and uh, there are many other funds like kodak emerging uh, equity fund also uh, given very good returns and hdfc mid cap opportunities fund also has given very good returns over 15 16 percent returns and uh, this fund can also do well in future also so i am actually there's a good possibility that over a 10 year basis uh, this fund can or a 5 year basis we can actually expect uh, a very good returns in this fund so even if we assume 14 15 percent return also there can this fund can be a good candidate for sip and lump sum investment 
and if you see the sip investments you know this fund actually for a period of one year the sip fund has not given much return the sip route so the investment at 12000 rupees that is 1000 per month has given the fund value is around 11648 rupees and for a two year basis uh, investment at 2000 uh, 24000 that is a 1000 rupees per month is worth only 24604 that is just a 2.5 percent return since because uh, the over a period of six months from the nfo of december 2020 the fund had actually rallied to around 15 and we rallied to around 15 50 so now it is 14.64 so that is the reason why this fund is not very attractive currently based on the sip investment but that can actually change once uh, you actually holding in staying investing in sip route for a period of 10 15 years this fund can actually give you returns with any rise to around 30 40 levels or even 50 levels in the next 5 uh, 10 years and uh, uh, so the uh, so uh, so regarding the composition of the funds and the investment that the fund has made you can actually see that uh, the fund um, small cap investment contribute to 62% of the investments the stock fund has actually invested in around 81 stocks large cap investment constitutes 0 percentage the mid cap investment is 3.82 percentage and the small cap investment is 62.82 percentage others actually constitute 30.08 percentage so the fund the fund manager actually quite aggressive is actually not made in large cap investments unlike uh, other funds like mid i is that emerging blue chip it actually invests in large cap also so this fund has mainly concentrated in small cap investments and some mid cap investments but mainly con- uh, large cap investment is not there so but they are actually have a good uh, quality so i will uh, go into more details of their stock holdings in this video holdings of this uh, st- small cap stock so they have main mainly invested in uh, the main constituent in their holdings is aero russia bank limited where they actually hold around 2.6 percentage then they have invested in carborant universal brigade enterprises two investment of india timken india limited saras and entrepreneur chalet hotels vip industries ap report to some credit access gramin limited So if you see the stock price of Kadir Asia Bank is actually posted very good results private banks have posted very good results in the last one year so the stock price of Kadir Asia Bank has risen from around 40 44 levels to around 80 levels so that is actually will uh, has a reflect from the stock price and uh, the returns of this UT small cap fund also similarly Carpenter Universal is one of the flagship company of the Murugan Book Group they are clean to aggressive segments and Brigade Enterprises is one of the premium real estate developer and the Tubin Investment India is a long term multi bagger stock so of the Murugan Book Group and team can india limited is a multinational company saras and tvers are leaders in the sanitary segment so they have actually investments in good quality stocks ap laboratories has been a long term multi bagger so if you see the full portfolio holdings of this company they actually investments in other investments in loot they have investments in uh, kpat technologies when pharmaceutical canfin homes krishna institute of medical sciences one of the leading hospital companies mti technology e class services and then 361 bam limited that is one of the new name of india ifl holdings limited Cams Limited Cams has been a multi-bagger, one of the leading deposit participant, and uh, JB Chemicals, um, a chain of financial holdings, persistent systems. So this IT stock has been the long-term multi-bagger, and the first source solutions, Raj Industries, Metro Brands, Prince Pipes and Paintings, Team Lee Services, City Union Bank, Ofosh. So these are all good quality IT companies, and you can have small finance bank, KNR Constructions, uh, Navin Fluorine. that normally metals now upon our rbg green panel industries all these are very good qualities in their segment and uh, they are actually uh, the bardhaman textiles these textiles and stock has uh, underperformed the last one year but uh, these all these stocks are actually good quality stocks in their respective sectors apply india limited narayan hardiyale limited nasha india glass mahindra ca automotive jk cement techno electric like that rosari biotech kes international So all these are very good quality stocks. So in future, actually, uh, based on the performance of these stocks, the uh, fund manager actually uh, uh, sell or uh, reduce the holdings in these companies, and uh, future also looks bright for these stocks. So if you see the uh, other st- uh, funds in the uh, same segment, there's my SP uh, segment like small cap segment. So SB is small cap fund. Uh, now is actually having any one or eight levels. So if you, it came with NFO in the year two thousand nine. at the price of 10 rupees now it is actually trading at 108 levels so it has actually ha- also had an annualized return of 19.23 percentage so it is quite possible that uh, ut small cap fund which actually currently has an nav of uh, annualized return 18 percentage came of nav in 2000 2000 2000 10 can also touch a uh, level of 100 in the next 12 years so that means uh, this can actually give 900 percent returns on the uh, in a fort uh, level of 10 rupees so if you are actually investing in sap route now once we accumulate units you know this can actually uh, investment of around uh, 
फाइव थौसंड रूपी एस और फोर थौस रूपी एस कैन आक्ली गिव ए सो इफ यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग अराउंड टेन लैक रूपी ओवर पीरियड ऑफ टेन ट्वेंटी इयर्स दैट वैल्यू कैन आक्ली टच अराउंड फोर्टी फिफ्टी लैक्स इन द नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी इयर्स सो विल आक्ली शो यू थ्रू एक्सएल हाउ द फंड वैल्यू कैन आक्ली टच अराउंड फिफ्टी लैक्स If you are actually making an investment in this fund in SIP route, if the fund manager is able to same produce the same kind of returns like SIP small cap fund in future for ETA small cap fund. In my case of uh, how an SIP investment of uh, around four thousand five thousand rupees can actually uh, make us a crore per day over a period of ten twenty years, I have done an Excel some Excel calculations. You can see that this fund came in enough in twenty twenty at ten rupees. So, assuming that 14% annual is return, I am actually coming at an NAV around 14.82 Now it is trading at 14.47. So we can actually assume that it's a given around 14% annual is return. If you just do the simple mathematical calculations, so assume that this fund is actually performs the same kind of returns or a 10-year basis. So I am actually putting NAV of 14.50 in 2023. Next year, based on the 14% return, NAV is expected to be 16.53. So like that, I am actually calculated for the uh, the period of 10 years. So the NAV is likely to be around 61 in 2034. So the average purchase rate based on the current year rate and next year rate is around 15.5. And if you are actually assuming uh, investing around 4000 rupees per month as a SIP route, uh, and if we will uh, total investment for one year is 48,000. So as uh, assuming the same investment for 10 year period, a uh, total investment over a period of 10 years will be around uh, 5 lakh 28,000. So we will be getting a uh, units of around 19,231 units for these investments in this particular fund. So assuming that uh, we are actually having this much units, so based on the NAV of 61, our fund value is likely to be around 11.31 lakhs, 7.73 lakhs for an investment of 5.82 lakh lakhs over a period of 20, 10, 20, 10 years. So assuming that we are actually investing for a period of uh, 20 years, as I say, we root suppose a person who is actually investing from the around 30 years, so he is actually investing 4000 rupees per month. So for the first year, the current year, the NAV is 14.50, and next year is likely to be around 16.53. So like that, I have taken the average purchase rate that is uh, the current year NAV rate plus the next year rate by two. So the average purchase is 15.52. Based on that, I have cal uh, calculated for the 10 years. I am actually assuming 14 percent return. So I am not uh, getting too much aggressive. I am assuming only from 2023 onwards. I am assuming only this fund is actually giving only 10 percent return because we cannot actually expect the market can have periodic corrections. Now we can actually expect corrections in the market. So we will not have able to every fund cannot be expect to get 14 percent returns. So even if we assume 10 percent return from the period of 10 next uh, 2033 onwards, so if we actually uh, I will actually the NAV becomes 59 from 2033. Uh, 10 percent return from 2033 means uh, NAV is of 65 in 2034. So like that, it, uh, NAV might touch uh, around 153 levels in. 2030 40, 42. That is around 20 year basis. Then we can actually expect it to touch uh, 150 levels. This is quite possible, and uh, I am only talking about 20 years. Then we to touch 152. We have seen that SBA small cap fund has actually touched uh, in 20 years itself. Then we has touched from 110 to 108. So it is uh, not uh, difficult to believe that then we can actually touch uh, 150 levels in 20 years. So based on that logic. I'm actually assuming 40, 4,000 rupees investment in the SAP route. The total investment per year is 48,000. So units accumulated for the first year is 3,093. Like that, we will be investing for 20 years. The total investment we will make is one uh, lakh, ten lakh rupees for accumulating uh, 24,470 units. So I'm uh, based on the fund value for the, uh, that much units uh, at the end of 20 years, based on the NAV of uh, around 153, is 37.5 lakhs. So this is a very conservative estimate. So over a 10 lakh investment can actually grow to 37.5 lakhs over a period of 20 years, assuming that from the 10 year onwards we are getting only 10 percent returns. So I am actually getting uh, more aggressive here. I am actually assuming 12 percent returns every year. So based on that logic, uh, I am actually having expecting NAV 16.23 in 20, uh, 23 next year. So like that, I am actually having an NAV of the 20 years. I am actually expecting NAV 156. So based on that logic, I am actually uh, getting a total investment of 10 lakh rupees. And the total units accumulated will be 26,449. So the fund value for that uh, much uh, investment is will be 41.43 lakhs. Assuming the NAV uh, is 156 levels in 20 years, assuming 10% 12% annual return. Currently, this fund is actually having you know, 18% returns. So, if you are actually going still aggressive uh, at 14% returns, the fund the fund manager is very good. So, the fund uh, NAV can actually touch around uh, 237 levels in 2042 in 20 years basis. So, the total fund value at that time. We will be getting accumulating only 23584 units. So, the based on the NAV of 26, the uh, total fund value would be around. Uh, 
the NAV is uh, 199.2042, the fund value would be around 46.99 lakhs. So we can actually, uh, even for an investment of 10 lakhs, in the worst cases basis, we can actually est estimate around 40 lakhs as a return in this particular fund over a 20 year basis. So that is a worst case estimate. So this is the reason why uh, this is quite possible and uh, uh, because we have seen that the SBA small cap fund has given on uh, NAV has touched from 10 to 109 in 15, 20 years basis. So this is quite possible for UT small cap fund also, you can actually touch easily touch around 150 levels in the 20 year basis or even touch 200 levels in 20 year basis. So the fund value can actually exponentially rise to around 50 lakhs if the EV are actually investing 4000 rupees per month. So the total investment of 10 lakh can actually go to around 40 to a lakh or 50 lakhs over a period of 20 year basis if we are actually investing in SA, you know, a small cap fund over a long term in the SAP route also. If we are actually investing in lump sum route also, suppose we are actually investing uh, say 1 lakh rupees every year also, that also can actually uh, touch a good value over 40 lakhs over a period of 20 years. But uh, we can we need to stay disciplined and uh, we need to, uh, one difficulty the lump sum investment is that uh, we need to time the market. The market, if we are actually investing in the market is at peak, say the NAV is 16 levels and then the market corrects the NAV such as 14 levels, we will be sitting in a loss for the short term basis. So lump sum investment need to be done through stages, either at the NFO time or uh, we need to uh, invest over a period of uh, say 4 or 5 investments after the any corrections, it is better to go for the lump sum investments. But in any case, we are actually investing around 10 lakh rupees in this fund over a period of 20 years, I am actually expecting 40-50 lakhs of uh, uh, returns. 40-50 lakhs of fund value over a period of 15-20 years. So, uh, like that, if you are actually investing 5 such funds, no, we can actually, if, uh, 50, if you are actually investing around 50 lakh rupees, we can easily achieve a uh, target of around 2 crore uh, fund value over a period of 20 years. That can actually serve as a, uh, for our future in uh, requirements or uh, retirement or uh, for any of our uh, purposes, in, uh, purposes like uh, child education or marriage or any other purpose.